Welcome back guys, Jimmy Jules 153 with another Dreams Logic tutorial. Today we'll be going over the randomizer gadget. You can use the randomizer to add some replayability to your levels by randomizing certain aspects of your scenes. I'll make a few cubes here so you can see which output ports are being activated. We'll also set up a resetting timer so that it pulses the randomize port which is the second input port. If we play the scene here, you can see that with the default settings, it'll randomly choose one of the three cubes when it's pulsed by the timer. It won't choose the same cube twice in a row on the default settings. We'll pop into the tweak menu here and go through the settings. Up the top, we've got the input for the signal that we want the randomizer to output we can tell the randomizer to output a signal that isn't just 100%. This input port won't make the randomizer change ports if you put a signal into it. That's done by the randomize input port that we wired the timer into on the face of the gadget. Under these two inputs, we've got the number of output ports slider. You could have this set to a higher number like 5, then only have port A wired up from the outputs. This way, whatever you have plugged into port A, will have a 1 in 5 chance of getting a signal, so it'd have a 20% chance of happening. Under the number of ports slider, we've got the randomized mode. Currently we've got this set to no repeat, so it won't choose the same output twice in a row. It'll also choose a new random set of ports each time you start the scene. The next option is shuffle, which will pick the order of the ports in advance and use those same randomly chosen outputs each time you start the scene. So, for example, if you start the scene and it chooses port 3, then port 1, then if you restart the scene, it'll again choose port 3, then port 1. Finally is the true random option. This option will be completely random, and can also choose the same port multiple times in a row. You can see here that it picks the output B twice. It's important to note that there isn't a pulse if it chooses the same port twice. It'll just keep the signal on, and have no off time in between. With the current setup, the output port down the bottom will output a signal whenever the randomizer is on a port other than port A. I used a few randomizers during the beta. One of them was for the swinging door in Last Night. I used keyframes initially and had a timer switching between them to move the door around, but found it looked a little bit too mechanical. Instead I used a randomizer to ramp up the door speed at random times so it would look a bit like it's blowing in random gusts of wind. I also used the signal I also used a signal manipulator for this to smooth the increase and the decrease of the signal so the door didn't start and stop abruptly. The other thing I used them in was the New Year's Eve fireworks display. I had a bunch of emitters emitting the fireworks at different spots in the sky and use the randomizer to choose which emitter to output the firework from. This way you'd get a different fireworks show each time you played. I had the input for the randomizer coming from the music playing in the scene, so whenever there was a beat from the music, it would pulse the randomizer to choose a firework to emit. That's all for the randomizer gadget guys, I'll see you in the next one.